was Islam spread by the sword. This is a common false allegation of anti-Muslims that Islam would not have billions of followers if it had not been spread by the use of force. They always tried to establish a fact that Islam was spread by the sword. The following couple of points will make it clear that far from being spread by the sword, it was the inherent force of truth, reason and logic that was accountable for the rapid expansion of Islamic belief. Let's study some cases. Case study 1. Islam comes from the root word salam of Arabic language which means peace. Islam also means submitting one's will to the Almighty God. That is why Islam is a religion of peace, which is obtained by submitting one's will to the will of the superlative creator, God. Case study 2. It is forbidden to all Muslim to do anything against the teaching of the glorious Holy Quran. The glorious Holy Quran says in Surah Baqarah, Chapter 2 verse 256 that there is no compulsion in religion. Certainly, right has become clearly distinct from wrong. Whoever objects the devil, and believes in God has firmly taken hold of a strong handle that never breaks. God is all hearing and knowing. Case study 3. Spain was ruled by Muslims for 800 years. The Muslims in Spain never ever used any force the people to convert. Later the Christian crusaders came to Spain and they converted Muslims to Christianity by force, and wiped out the Muslims. There was not a single Muslim in Spain who could openly give the call for prayers. Case study 4. Muslims were the overlord of Arabian nations for 1,400 years. British ruled for a few years, and for a few years the French governed. In all, the Muslims ruled Arabia for 1,400 years. At present, there are 14 million Arabs who are Coptic Christians, and they are Christian since generations. If the Muslims had used any force, there would not have been one single Arab who would have remained a Christian. Case study 5. The Muslims governed India for about a thousand years. They had the strength of converting every and each non-Muslim of India to Islam if they wanted. Today more than 80% of the population of India are non-Muslims. Today all these non-Muslim Indians are bearing witness that Islam was not spread by the force or sword. Case study 6. Maximum number of Muslims in the world are in Indonesia. In Malaysia the majority of people are Muslims. May one ask which Muslim force went to Malaysia and Indonesia. Likewise, Islam has spread rapidly on the east coast of Africa. How it was happened? If Islam was spread by the force of sword, which army of Muslims went to the east coast of Africa? Case study 7. The best reply to the false allegation and misconception that Islam was spread by the sword is given by the famous historian de Lacy Olier in the book Islam at the Crossroad at page 8. He says that history makes it clear, however, that the legend of fanatical Muslims sweeping through the world and forcing Islam at the point of the sword upon conquered races is one of the most fantastically absurd myth that historians have ever repeated. Case study 8. The leading historian, Thomas Carlyle, in his book Heroes and Hero Worship, refers to this allegation a misconception about the expansion of Islam. He says over that the sword indeed, but where will you get your sword? Every new opinion at its starting is precisely in a minority of one. In one man's head alone, there it dwells as yet. One man alone of the whole world believes it there is one man against all men. That he takes a sword and try to propagate with that will do little for him. You must get your sword. On the whole, a thing will propagate itself as it can. Case study 9. Dr. Joseph Adam Pearson properly says, People who worry that nuclear weaponry will one day fall in the hands of the Arabs, fail to realize that the Islamic bomb has been dropped already, it fell the day Muhammad was born. Case study 10. It is actually the sword of intellect, the force that conquers the minds and hearts of people. The glorious Holy Quran says in Surah Anal, chapter 16 verse 125, Invite to the way of your Lord with wisdom and good instruction, and argue with them in a way that is best. Indeed, your Lord is most knowing of who has strayed from his way, and he is most knowing of who is rightly guided. 
Case Study 11. According to an article in Reader's Digest Almanac, if year 1986 gave the statistics of the increment of the major religions of the whole world in half a century. From 1934 to 1984, this statistics also presented in the Plain Truth magazine. At the top was Islam, which increased by 235%, and Christianity had increased only by 47%. Today, the fastest growing religion in America is Islam. The fastest growing religion in Europe is Islam, which saw is forcing people in the West to accept Islam in such large numbers. Please subscribe to our channel. Kindly like, share and comment on our videos. If anyone benefits because of your like and share, then God may provide you with unlimited reward which is called Sadaq Atul Jariyah in Islam. Sadaq Atul Jariyah is continuous rewards received for good actions, deeds, and spreading knowledge. It is a gift that not only benefits us in this life, but also benefits us and our loved ones in the hereafter, according to the hadith of the Prophet, peace be upon him, narrated by Muslim. When a person dies, all the deeds end except three, a continuing charity, beneficial knowledge, and a child who prays for them.